By the time I got to the hospital, uh, Lynette was pretty much fighting for her life. It was sort of touch and go, 50-50 really, and no guarantee she was going to make it through to the morning. I was on a book signing tour down in Melbourne and uh, got a message from Lynette's father to say that um, could, you, could you urgently call him back and, and uh, Lynette's father, Phil, is not one for being over the top, so I knew something was pretty serious and then got the, got the news that um, Lynette had been taken away in an ambulance and um, she was sort of disorientated, words weren't coming out the right way and they weren't sure <coughs> what the issue was. That's always something I dreaded as a sports person being away for a lot of my career was getting that phone call where there's something wrong with your family. If someone having a stroke in the family or, or close to you has an impact on everyone. Um, initially it's firstly about how we're going to get through this. So three young kids at the time who were saying eight, six and four and you had to sit them down and they were obviously worried. I mean they kids internalised quite a bit. They didn't say much about it but they were obviously affected by it and I had to sit them down on, on I remember sitting down on one of the on their beds and the three of them sat there and they like statues, they knew it was pretty serious and had to sort of explain what was going on and hopefully it would I, we'd be all okay and I'd try to get through that conversation with them. When you have an injury uh, on the outside of your body, like a cut, people can see it's bleeding, but when you have a stroke, you're still sort of hemorrhaging underneath, but people don't see that. So you almost think that everything's okay, but internally there's a lot of things going on. So with Lynette, um, memory was difficult. Like you'd tell us something 10, 20 times in one day and the next day she asked the same question again. I finally realised I'm, I'm not bulletproof. Um, I've got to go and have checkups. So yeah, being stroke aware is part of that. But uh, it's more a lifestyle. Um, eating properly, not drinking too much, getting decent sleep, and just generally uh, getting out and being being fit and healthy. Stroke risk assessment is pretty simple, really. It's just a, a blood pressure test. Then you'll be asked a series of questions, and from that you can formulate a plan.